as a result of the coroner's inquest. When the coroner's jury said that Kenny died by felony, then I will mark that death certificate homicide. Tonight, a special targeting investigation, cause of death, bullying. Schools and employers might want to review the effectiveness of their bullying policies after a coroner's inquest raised the question, who's responsible for suicides? Good evening, I'm Brittany Pieper. And I'm Jim Rake. Thanks for joining us. Bullying at work and school caused the death of a mid-Missouri teen, with the coroner changing the death certificate from suicide to homicide. Target 8's chief investigator, Jamie Gray, is here with the team's latest investigation into responsibility and liability. The jurors at the inquest found the teen's employer negligent in training its employees in harassment prevention and resolution. The restaurant manager is now charged with involuntary manslaughter. They also found the school followed policies and procedures but was negligent in preventing bullying. Target aid investigator Shanna Grove spoke with professionals to learn who can be held accountable for bullying that provokes death. She joins us live now at the Howard County Courthouse. A little over a month ago, I was in this courthouse reporting on the coroner's inquest for 17-year-old Kenny Sutner, who took his own life in December. Since then, I wanted to find out who can be held responsible for bullying that leads to suicide and how people and institutions may be held accountable. So I spoke with attorney and school, uh, school and employment attorneys to get their take on it and found inquests like this are not the norm. Certainly, it's the risk of that happening to somebody else was a real possibility. Andy Sutner lost his life in a tragic and unnecessary manner. In 24 years as coroner, Frank Flaspuller has held five inquests. This was the first one to involve a suicide. Did you know about this happening anywhere else in the nation where inquests are held for suicides because of bullying? No, I have not heard of anywhere else. Well, it's very unusual for a coroner to be involved in these cases. That's not a typical case, and I've not ever seen a case like that. Although unprecedented, he felt the inquest was necessary for public health. If I just mark the death certificate, uh, a gunshot wound, but don't mark the death, death certificate, why? Then nobody looks at the underlying cause and we don't fix the problem. So yeah, bullying was the cause of death, and that's the problem that we need to address. People at the inquest testified, saying Kenny's manager at Dairy Queen targeted him, forcing him to do humiliating tasks like clean the floor while on his stomach and verbally harassing him. Others say it continued at school. He had some pretty extreme bullying that was occurring at work, um, which ultimately led to the jury's decision that Harley Branham was the main actor in the inv in involuntary manslaughter charge. And he was also experiencing bullying, it sounded like, for a long period of time at school. The school district's attorney says although the loss of any student is a tragedy, policies and procedures can't stop all bullying. There's nothing that the school district or any of its employees could have done differently that would have avoided this tragedy. In a release, Glasgow School District states the reputations and character of district teachers, administrators have been harmed as a result of a proceeding in which they were not allowed to defend themselves. Unfortunately, the coroner has, in an apparent attempt to justify his actions, made statements about the district and its staff that he knows to be false. There were no fabrications. There were no lies. Just in general, are in you general, referring yeah. to any specific statements at all? Or just oh, in no, general? no, I'm not going to get in an argument with the school over this or that because that diverts from what I want people to focus on, and that is bullying. Both at school? School districts have a legal responsibility to prevent uh, bullying that involves illegal in discrimination and harassment. I, I don't think that the school district has responsibility for absolutely everything a, a child says or does. Um, that said, uh, uh, it has become somewhat of a trend um, to sue school districts. And at work? Depending on the circumstances and the fact involved, there is certainly the potential for liability to the employer um, directly through a tort type of claim under Missouri common law. And there's certainly also the potential for liability under the Workers' Compensation Act. But it's a high bar to clear. Probably in most cases, there's not going to be any liability or any compensation um, under either scenario. Felony involuntary manslaughter due to harassment. The coroner speaks for the deceased in order to protect the living. And I think that's really the underlying reason for this inquest was the inquest I wanted to speak for Kenny so that we can protect other people from 
the same thing happening. According to 2016 data from the State Department of Mental Health, about a third of students reported being bullied in the last year, and about 5% reported attempting suicide. Reporting live in Fayette, Shanna Grove, KMU 8 News. Last night we had a story about how this case has divided the community and information about bullying cases around the state. To watch that story and look through our interactive web story, go to KOMU.com. You'll be able to see bullying reports at your child's school, watch extended interviews, and get more resources if you work at a school or own a business.